Yo, how's everybody doing out there today? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to DJ in GTA 5 Online. No, I'm really not. But I will be showing you how to glitch into the Bahama Mama's nightclub right after this message. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 Online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 Online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. Okay, so there's two methods on how to breach into the Bahama Mama's nightclub, okay? Uh, the two methods are the first one is two player, which is much easier in my opinion. The second one is solo, which is a bit more tricky. We're going to go over the two player one first, then the solo one after. So go ahead and open up your phone and dial 911. Okay. Hello, now you're going to be asked emergency which emergency service, service you want. You're going to go ahead and select the fire department. Okay. Because we want that fire truck the to come by. So once you've gone ahead and called up 911 and ordered the fire truck, you know, have your friend nearby and this is the exact spot that you want to be. You guys probably know it very well because it's right next, it's right in front of Del Perro and it's right next to as well the uh, Maze Bank West, all right, the small Maze Bank uh, CEO office. So it's really close to a main, you know, area in the city. But this actually used to be an old, and, and I'm going to really go over it once we breach in there. I'm going to go over all the little tips and talking points that I want to go over when it comes to this breach and why I dedicated a whole video to it. But for now, let's just try to get in there first. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just steal the fire truck when it comes, okay? Now, you'll automatically get a star or two. Just make sure you call off less or you call Lester to actually get the cops off of you and go ahead and just give the fire truck to your friend. So that's all I'm doing right now. All right, just getting the cops, you know, out of my way so that we don't have to worry about them and we're free to do this. I wish we had some, you know, weird way to turn off the cops or even pay money to just turn off the cops whenever we logged into a session. But unfortunately, we don't have that option. That'd be great. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get out and just give the vehicle to my friend. All right, so my friend doesn't need that much speed, but this is Bahama Mamas right here. I'm going to go ahead and as you can see by the blood, I actually failed the first time. Go ahead and press RB or R1 on PlayStation and just go up against the doors of the club, okay? Have your friend literally right across the street around the sidewalk area right there. You don't need a lot of speed. So have your friend just drive straight into you just like this, okay? If you do it successfully and just have them keep going in just to make sure you get pushed in and boom, you see that? Easily, I have wall breached in. I got it second try, obviously the first time I thought I needed more speed, so I kind of really gunned it, you know? And I started from like way, way the hell over there at the other end of the street. So it, I did die the first time, but second time with barely any speed, I was able to get in and check it out. We have breached the Bahama Mama's nightclub now. The, the things I want to go over with this breach, okay, this used to be a regular breach in the game, but unfortunately, what happened was Rockstar patched it up. Now, I'm not sure why they patched it up, but it has now been unpatched, and I'm not sure why they've unpatched it either. So, now it is working once again. Uh, a lot of people have been using this for a while, but, you know, we just kind of realized it's gone mainstream now that it has been unpatched. So, here's the stuff about Bahama Mamas. Of course, you got all this, uh, you know, the, the very skeptical people saying that this could bring on a DLC. We've had people saying that there's going to be DLCs about nightclubs and everything for a long, long time. And I'm not one of those skeptical people, but I must say, when it comes to wall breaches, this is probably one of the best built wall breach slash interiors that are unused in the game that I've ever seen. See, you can breach and, and, you know, yeah, you can breach into the FIB building and actually go around in there. But guess what? That's actually a, a mission in story mode. So that interior is actually used. The thing with Bahama Mamas, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think this interior is used at any point in the game, story mode or even online. And, I mean, if you look around, this is very well built. The designs, everything, everything inside the club is fully rendered, you know? There's lighting, there's shadows, there's everything, there's writing, you know, in neon lights. Everything is very, very well built. Obviously, there's no extra doors. I mean, a lot of these doors right here, I 
pretty much tried all of them. You can't go into them whatsoever, but I tried a bunch of the stuff, and obviously you can't interact with anything in here. You know, there's no right D-pad to sit down or to use the DJ decks or anything like that, but the lighting and the shadows are all on point. The, the, the detail that they've paid attention to is magnificent in this actual breach, and to be honest with you, that makes me think that this could be some sort of DLC. You never know, man. So... If you go outside to the, uh, you know, I'm not going to be all skeptical the entire video. That's not me. All right. So if you go to the part where you actually wall breached in, the only thing you can interact with is the actual ATM. Surprisingly, there's an ATM here and we can actually use it. So that was that was pretty shocking to me that that's actually in use at all. And there's actually a guy behind that other door. I think you can see him if you look through this little area right here. Yeah, he was like hiding in there. But uh, yeah, and believe it or not, guys, this little entrance right here that we got pushed into that is you can actually shoot through that okay i know a lot of trolls and, and you know a lot of people are going to be pissed that you know that you can actually do this but people have known this for a while okay it's just being put into a video now and right when i realized that you can actually shoot through this i was like oh well wow that's a pretty good spot so this is actually a warning really to let you guys know if you see anybody shooting at you i'm not posting this to tell people and encourage them to do it if you're around this area and you see people dying all the time and you don't know where somebody is go ahead and you know either leave session or if you shoot a rocket at this door i promise you they will die if they're close like this shoot a rocket at the door and you'll actually take this guy out okay i don't condone trolls whatsoever but i want to let you guys know that you can actually shoot through that breach right there okay so now what we're doing is we're going to go over the solo version all right and the solo version is a bit trickier and it has to do with the deluxo and i didn't have much luck i got into the club with the solo version but i needed to be first person the entire time to actually look around and you're going to see what i mean here in a second but you need a deluxo if you want to do this solo and you're going to go to this location right here all right you see that building we're right in front of here it is on the map we're pretty close to the ceo buildings in the middle of the city you know the big maze bank tower okay so what you want to do is actually go ahead and set yourself a waypoint to where Bahama Mama's nightclub is. And it's right here. That's the corner. That's pretty much the door uh, that we breaching that we were breaching into, okay? So now what you want to do is I like to actually get a little bit more, you know, speed behind it. Not even speed, just like a little bit farther away. I like to start back a lot farther. All right, so go ahead and enter hover mode, and then you want to slowly aim up and then just kind of gun it when you're right there, and boom. You should be able to get through the wall breach just like that. Now, make your way down past these two floors, okay? Now, I kind of dive-bombed right there, but we're good. Now, we're actually on one of the floors. We can't go straight down yet. You want to go towards the highway, okay? So, you see where I'm facing right now? That's actually towards the highway if you look at the map. Um, you could screw up like right there. I actually did end up falling right completely under and look at that We can go really really low under the map I don't know if you guys remember but back when we were doing other wall breaches with the deluxo You can only stay at like a level playing field right under the map this time with this one You can go super super low. Okay, so you want to go ahead and make your way towards that waypoint All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward just a little bit right here just so we can get there a bit quicker but uh, yeah, I'd say don't stay too low because eventually you're going to have to come back up anyways. But this is how you do it, okay? You want to go ahead and just make your way over to Bahama Mamas right now uh, with the Deluxo. And once you've gotten to that waypoint, you want to slowly make your way up, okay? You want to basically breach from under the building, all right? And you won't be able to see the interiors or anything yet. But you'll be able to see them later on once you're actually in the building, okay? So I'll show you the problem that I had, but right now I'm right inside the building. I just need to make sure that I get up high enough. That's the door right there if you didn't see it, but boom, I'm in the interior right now. I can go ahead and actually get out and I'll be inside Bahama Mamas, okay? I can't actually go into the map anymore. I'm inside the interior, but you see, I got out and I still can't see anything. I actually had to go into first person to be able to see the uh the actual nightclub okay so that's what i'm gonna do here in a second this is why i mean it's just me though i couldn't get this solo version to work very well okay but that's you see right there i'm in the nightclub if i go into first person that's all the same as before but right when i go into third person again it all becomes invisible and just you know unrendered and stuff like that so i wasn't a big fan of the solo version just because of that i just did not have luck with it i did it about three times and every time this happened to me you could definitely try it see if you have better luck being in third person but yeah i could only actually see everything in first person and what sucks is you have a big you know you have a car in the middle of the club you know while you're trying to go through it and stuff like that so it can be a little bit annoying uh to have that happen to you uh one of the cool things though that you can actually do with this is you can breach into parts of the club that you didn't think you probably could before so here's a little clip 
of me actually using the solo deluxo method and I breached into a place I didn't think I could. I'm over here trying to walk out and I'm realizing I'm kind of stuck. Look at this. I actually breached into the back of the bar. Okay, I am behind the bar, a place you're obviously definitely not meant to be at. You're not meant to even be in the club, but I actually glitched behind the bar and I'm totally stuck in here. Okay. But uh, yeah, guys, so have fun with this. You know, let me know what you think about this breach down in the comments. Let me know if you think there's going to be a DLC or if it'd be cool to actually have a nightclub DLC uh, based on, you know, this club as being one of the locations. All right. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.